This is Jay, your DM. Welcome to Nair. My name is Amy. I'm playing Bijou, the high elf glamour bard. Hi, my name's Andrew. I'm playing Reeve Vitevich Kolosevsky, a paladin hill dwarf. Uh, I'm Ian. I play Harold, the fear ball druid. And I'm Aaron. I play Tatso, the human samurai. All right. So uh, you guys were all sitting around a table at the Rusty Spike with all the windows shuttered and just your friends and allies in there when a knock was up, came out the door and some resistance members brought in two little dwarves who, as they were uncovered, revealed themselves to be Kyle and Bile. What do you do? I hate you. <laughs> That's all B she's going to say to them as soon as she sees, or as soon as they see their faces. Tatsu I just hate you. Laughing. I, uh, I, 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 my eyebrow raises and you can see there's like a slight grin on my face. Like justice is going to be served. Uh, Kyle, I recognize him. Kyle kind of gives a little shove to Bile and says, see, I told you I saw them. It's, I didn't know yeah. it was the whole, the whole gang. We could, this. I go up and I backhand his face and make him shut up. Ow. <laughs> That's for my sister. Tatsu's just laughing maniacally. Okay, you have to role play it, Aaron. You have to- <laughs> <laughs> that was really the face, frightening. Though, I wish we could. I wish we could give the face. Yeah, to our, our listeners will never experience the I don't like terror. That. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, scary. I'm like. I'm already fighting back tears because Jim dropped the stinkiest poop in the world. <laughs> It's so bad. Why do you think Jay chose to be further away? No, I closed the door. Oh. <laughs> I have no protection. What kind of damage did uh, Andrew take on his hand? No, I didn't take any damage. Reeve may have dealt some damage. Is that what you're I, referring to? I, I don't know. I didn't see your roll. Probably killed him. To be honest. <laughs> right. Do I need to level, roll? Do level roll 10. Today? Now he's all big big for his britches. Yeah, because I've heard the songs, and Kyle and Bile are pretty fierce. <laughs> <laughs> what about, I'm about to backhand Harry. Weren't there songs <laughs> just taking oh, okay. credit for the things that... We did. Tatsuo and the... Yeah, the delivery service did. Tatsuo and the delivery service, really? Well, no, I it's, think it's being <laughs> the delivery service. I thought we've been no, over this. I was just trying to remember if it was like specifically one thing that Tatsuo did that they took credit for, or that she finished. I guess killing the ogre. Yeah. Yeah, which she <laughs> shouldn't have done. Right. The poor sweet. Right, because it was a sad <laughs> ogre. Oh, that was really sad. <laughs> I just put him out of my misery. Please Thanks for listening him. to this episode of Nair's Greatest Hits. Uh, so <laughs> what are you guys doing? <laughs> well, I okay, slap well, the guys. What's, what's their reaction? Have they... As they I get don't slapped? care about these guys. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Oh. Um, Jaron kind of steps up and he says, oh, no. Not the... I thought... I thought you were long gone. What are you all doing here in Prine? Is it... Oh, well, we... we what do you... Th- we, we're just living our life, you know? We're, uh, you know, darting back and forth and living a good life. And 
trying to get some reward money? If you, Tatsu you mean slaps being traitors. Them. Yeah, and I slap the other one. Yeah, Tatsu slaps the one that Reeve didn't slap and no, yells. I, I'm slapping him. I get the slap. No, no, she, she, she's saying the one that you're not slapping right now. Oh, yeah. the one I just slapped. Yes. Whichever okay. one is Calm currently no not one is being taking slapped. the guy that you're slapping. You get to do that all by <laughs> okay. yourself. Nice. And she screams, what do you know about the Assassin's Guild? About the Assassin's Guild? I, I think it's a guild of assassins. She slaps him again. <laughs> That's my favorite running joke. Ow. He's been backhanded. Ouchie. Well, Jaron, uh, since they're here and you're here as the ruler of Soft Hill, if you would like a quick trial, you could put them to trial and then have them executed, as should have been done a long time ago. It's easy for me. I can just chop their heads <coughs> off. I think we need I think we need more information from them first. Uh Jaron steps up and he says, Well, Kyle and Bile for the crime of plotting against the kingdom of Soft Hill and uh, associating with uh, murderers uh, that killed my sister and for uh, exploiting a large uh, number of my people and profiteering off of them. Uh, how do you all plea? And uh, Bile speaks up. He says, well, I guess that we're kind of guilty of that stuff, but listen, we can... We can help you guys out. We can we've 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 we know a lot of information about stuff that's going on. And if you just spare if you spare us, we can we'd love to help out and 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 share any info that we have. I'm gonna nudge Reeve real quick. And, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna cast z- zone that's of it. truth. Yes. <laughs> he picked it up. I wanna I wanna cast zone of truth. All right. Perfect. What do they have to roll? What do uh, I have to roll? Uh, let's see. Let me. <laughs> I oh, step yeah. back. Yeah, we're, all, so we're all in there. I'm in there. I, I don't lie, so I'm good. All right, what let me roll. <clears throat> what's, what's the roll? Oh, hold on. Uh, let me get my spells. Uh, zone of truth. Wisdom, wisdom, list. wisdom, wisdom. Sorry, wisdom. I, I'm bad. You guys see what I rolled here? A 15 foot. Um, it's a nat 20. They have to... Uh, see, what's the save? Hold on. Your spell save DC at the top of oh, your spells, spells page. S- spells uh, save DC. Okay, got it. 16? 16? Yeah. 16. And what, what am I adding to mine? Wisdom? Well, I rolled a 22, so... Okay. Wait, what's your, what are we rolling? Is it a wisdom saving throw? It's wisdom. Wisdom. All right, well, Kyle 17. rolled a 6, and Bile rolled a 13. Uh-huh. Good. I got a twenty. Wow. Yeah, I guess not a nat so. twenty. <laughs> it was a twenty because I have a modifier for I'm not a plus five this. to wisdom saving. Throws. All right. Kyle and Bile, what do you really know about the Assassins Guild? <laughs> Straight to the point. <laughs> well, I think it's a guild of assassins. Oh, All right. For God what do you is. know? What the do word. you know about where this halfling army is coming from? Well. I, the halfling army is not in Prime originally. Mm-hmm. I know that. Uh, uh, l- l- listen here. I know you're trying to save your skin, right? But for every question you don't give us a satisfying answer, Reeve might just slap you again. I'm going to exactly break a second. finger. So you might <laughs> experience... <laughs> You you might experience less pain. It would be it would be a, a better interest to your health and personal happiness for you to just go ahead and tell us where is the halfling army coming from? They kind of look at each other. Well, uh, they so we heard from some guards that it is they come from an island. I'm going to nudge Tatsuo which, and pull my which? pinky a little bit. <laughs> just looking at her, just my pinky. Tatsu. I'm not talking about the <clears throat> Foothills Island. I'm talking about these other halflings. Oh, no, yeah. Tatsu. They, they, they're from a, a, an, an island that we've never heard of. They kept saying the name. I don't remember. I don't, I don't, 
It was unfamiliar. Tato, Tato can you grabs help him Kyle's finger. Can you, can you help him remember? And jams it back super hard and fast, breaking it. Which one? Kyle's. Which oh. finger? The pinky. <laughs> what sound does he make again? <laughs> <laughs> What's the name of the island? I think Where they said it? it was called Ironwood. Ironwood. No, you fool. It was called like Metal Stone or something. Iron Stone, because that is um, the guy we killed. What's his face? Neiman. He was, he was at the Iron Stone. Neiman. Um, all right. Uh, where is it? Uh, they, I think it's from what we've been able to tell. It seems like they are closest to Eastport. Mm-hmm. They talk right. about running a lot of business from from their island through Eastport, so I would I would guess that that's the closest spot. So, who are you working for at this time? Working? We're not working for anyone. We're just trying You're to just survive. Working for yourselves. Here. Tatsu okay. grabs Bile's finger and snaps it back, breaking it. What? I was Fish. telling the truth. <laughs> All right. Uh, can you tell us? Did you plot to kill? The the leading family members of Soft Hill. We we didn't we. Did you encourage people to do so? He kind of uh, Kyle kind of like rolls his eyes and says, "Well, not necess- not initially. Not we were we were approached by uh, some of the those those weird those boat dwarves. The boat dwarves." And what was their price? Oh, they gave us, uh, I, what was it? It was around 500 gold each, I think. That's what, it. What names, <laughs> what, what names uh, did these boat dwarves have? Well, they knew they had, they wanted to, to help them kill any Kolosevsky. No, what were their names? The ones that you dealt with? Oh, they didn't, they didn't tell us that kind of information. Okay. You Where sold out they- your, your, your land for for me for five hundred gold pieces. Well, just for the first Kolosevsky. We've uh, made more money. I slap him again. Day. I'm sorry. We did. There's no excuse. You can literally say nothing after "I'm sorry" that we would actually want to hear. Um, what else do we want to know? Where did the dwarves come from? Where did the boat dwarves come from? Yeah. Well, we- where did they come from? <laughs> Where are your rebel friends? I don't know. They found us in in Soft Hill. But anyway, to get back to your to your earlier question, like I said, we we didn't start any kind of revolution, but I think people saw us as revolutionaries. Yeah. Uh-huh. I kind of like puff up a little bit, and then they they started having conversations in our bar, and we of course didn't stop anyone they were good loyal customers tatsu grabs the thumb on kyle and the thumb on bile this is like a warning <laughs> jesus what? i'm telling the truth that's what you wanted i just don't like your attitude so i'm telling you to watch it yeah <sighs> well you do know that your actions did result in the death of a of a leading member of the kolosevsky family yeah, yes, we do. And that's one of the reasons we fled. We realized it was getting a little bit too intense for for our own liking. I'm going to turn to Jaron and I'm going to ask him, is there anything else you'd like to know from these very honest gentlemen? Um, he kind of straightens up a little bit and he says, um, so you had nothing to do with the meeting with the tailor and the the potion, what the glass, the jewelry maker. Oh no, and we didn't like those name? weirdos. They were they they didn't they their friends came into our bar a lot, but those those two guys they were kind of creepy. We didn't we didn't hang out with them very much. What about Reeves' friends' name? What was it? Remember the the one that he was following? Steven? Steven. 
Right, the jewelry maker. No, he was. Oh. He was a little bit. Uh, he, he was. A, he was kind of a bully to us. We didn't. We didn't. We did not fraternize with him very much. What would you like us to do with these fellows, Jaron? Well, uh, is this information valuable to you all? Um, yes, knowing the existence of Ironstone as a place is uh, very helpful. I, I can't um, remember what, what happened after we kind of took out that cult. or That meeting? Yeah. Um, we just reported it and preemptively stopped it from from happening because they were yeah, going to do like all... a whole assassination thing with like these uniforms that were they were going to switch out with guards and we just told Jaron and then he was able to to arrest them. them. Right, right. Um, Kyle and Bile kind of speak up and they say, like, "If if we may speak for a moment, please, just plead our case just for a moment." Um, Go ahead, grovel all you like. We we know we've done bad things and and to be honest we're you you all are our heroes but we're we're just kind of we're we're enterprising young lads and enjoy making a good buck and a a good bit of fame while it lasts um, but we know we've done terrible things and we know it's it's been bad but look around you the world is falling apart and and all these halflings are. They're they're making it very hard to live and and to make a honest living and a humble buck and and if you all are here to try and to stop them, well, we definitely want to help and we want to. If we if, can't trust you, yeah, I know, I, that's true. That's I mean, true. but they are they are in the zone of truth right now, so they must. I meet. know, but but we can't trust them not to switch sides later. Maybe Dirk can enslave them. All right, Tatsuo. Let's no. <laughs> um, I feel like I, they. I feel like I they think, need to be punished. I, was I think they need to be subjected to Soft Hills justice, and I do think that is Jaron's jurisdiction. And whatever he he asks to do, we will enforce. But um, I do think they need to be kept close, cleaning up not, ogre poop, and not release anywhere. Because knowing what they know of us, they can turn around and be enterprising young lads and sell us out for money and sell out Dirk. Yeah, we can't. They can never be released again until all of this is over. Um, Jaron kind of nods and says, Dirk, do you have any sort of dungeon in this tavern? And Dirk goes, Oh, that's unfortunately one of the upgrades we didn't have time for. But uh, can you can you take him back with you, Jaron? And maybe um, Reeves' young proteges will be able to experiment on them. No, no, <laughs> not so. Why all of these things? <laughs> no. Um, keep watch over them is what I meant to say. So weird. Come on, you wouldn't find that funny. <laughs> Are we Nazis now? Like, what's the deal? I don't know. No. Tatsu does not. I don't know how magic works. <laughs> don't you have to test stuff out? Yeah, like the Nazis. Wow. They did that. With magic. The who? Well, they thought it was. <laughs> yeah. The what? The Zenas? <clears throat> Jaron, um, so there's a lot of variables with sending them back um i'm we can do that uh i'd rather just i know you all mentioned execution there it is <laughs> <laughs> i heard it. one of you wants to carry that out i would it's not usually how we perform justice in soft hill but we're not in soft hill and i'm not the king here but because hmm. they did we did they did fess up a lot I don't know. I don't know if Reeve can forgive them. To be honest, because <clears throat> I'd be you. the one to do it. It's up to you. Go on, Ned Stark on him. 
Um, what if we chained them to the orc? <laughs> oh, you I, mean to Grug? Yeah. Maybe that are would they, are they, get are him they to chained? actually go potty outside. Are they chained up like right now? Are they tied up? No. They're like tied are up. They? They're tied up. <clears throat> okay. All right. Chain well, I, I, grab, I grab both of them. And uh, I uh, put I I, I guess I we re, I retie their their arms around the pole, mm-hmm. like on each like kind of pillar. And uh, I re, I like I I guess you've been accused. I, I start saying you've been accused of of uh, treason, inciting assassinations. Yeah, citing assassinations, treason, um, obstruction of justice. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> and accessory to murder. How do you plead? We already told you that we plead guilty to all of it. By the, by the power vested in me by my, my, my brother, the king. And I raise my axe up. Uh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> and I uh, and they're kind of both tied to the same. Well, actually, to the same pole. And um, uh, the bell bricks kind of speaks up for a second and says, "I don't know if I f- feel okay with this. Didn't you? Couldn't we send them to like Mr. to Mr. exile?" And I bring the <laughs> axe down and I uncut their their ropes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Harry, couldn't we we send them to the 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 limbo place? No, because then they'll they'll mess up our trees. I think you've got really good prisons in Foothill. That's true. You've got re and you've got lions. Mm. Well, we've got one lion. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mm, mm, mm. you have right. many well, lions? Is Foothill like a good spot? No, I, I got a spot in the Feywild that I, I, I could no. throw them in. No, that's, yeah, that's, no, that's, that's, because, a, that's a good spot. It's, it's no. you know, there's a little walk away from the door, but yeah. No, no. Let's what take them to Foothills cave? on this plane. What about that cave? I, I, I sent them to exile in the Foothills. And uh, I don't know how they're going to get there, but that's going to be where they're going to go. I have well, decided. We do. Don't we have some trees? Um... Yeah. Who? I guess. Uh, Why don't you and your guys take him to the trees real quick and then come back? Yeah, I'll have I'll have um, Lucius and me, Lucius and uh, uh, Thaddeus will take take. Uh, do you know how to taco? Yeah, I know they do. Uh, okay. I'll give them a list. <laughs> yeah, I'll give them a list of uh, all the spots that we have. Uh, but yeah, you're good. You can use it. All right, come with me. And uh, Thaddeus and um, Lucius like push them along with the the, the handles of their axes, and we, we lead them out to the tree. All right. And I guess we return, like, or uh, I return, and the other two continue with them. Yeah, Belbrix goes with you, and she's like, um. Oh hey Brock, uh, these guys need to go to prison. It's like, oh yeah, cool, no problem, Bill Bricks, my main girl. All right, yeah, chill, <laughs> chill. <laughs> so we we passed through the tree and then we came back with I came back with every, with Bell, Bell Bricks and everybody. Yeah. Okay. I took like I don't know how long it took, but whatever. Twenty four minutes. That sounds good. <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right, um, cool. So, uh, Dirk's kind of like, all right. Well, so what's the what's the next plan? We have to find. We have to find Fam. And not kill Fam. And not kill Fam. <laughs> well, <laughs> how are can, we gonna? Can Can you do that, Reeve? By the way, can you actually cool your jets? I did. Whatever did you are. just not see me cool my jets earlier? <laughs> it's okay. I know, but about undead. 
About undead is what I'm saying. Ugh. I suppose. It's okay. It's okay. If I get any kind of feeling that he is going to kill him on the way, I will abandon him. It's okay. I, I won't right. tell you guys. It's just going to happen. So, All right. Um, any ideas where we start? Well, you could start with Mr. Nilo. I know he's been following leads or with uh, the, the mansion. And he turns to Harry. And says, I'm sure that they have an idea of where he may be. The mansion. I don't think we should head into the mansion. What's the mansion? That's home. <laughs> it's uh, uh, it's where the that vampires. That sounds like a good vampire hangout. Yeah, a mansion. Don't they love mansions? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not a fan of the place, but if we. Well, why don't we uh, go go uh, work it out? Why don't we promise them lots of uh, halflings in gray uniforms that they can uh, devour? That's actually a good point. So we're going to bring Kyle and Bile, or? No, we already took them to Foothills, but I'm talking about halfling soldiers from Ironstone. All of the soldiers that have overrun all of the lands, that, that'd be a feast for these vampires, right? Yeah, I really didn't think that through. That's probably, that's a good idea. I think they'll like that. <laughs> <laughs> this is, might Let's have go something. offer diplomacy to these vampires and get them some blood. All right, okay. Let's try this. All right, so uh, you're going to go into the mansion, I guess? Yes. Yeah. yeah. There I don't know it where it is. is a, uh, everyone, uh, are you sneaking? Are you walking? Are you disguising? Like, what's going on? I am I still have my halfling disguise. It's like a blonde halfling lady. And I have my hood up. Can Tat, so it'll be a cat again or no? No. Then I guess she's just wearing a cloak and doing sneaky boots. <laughs> okay. Every time someone says sneaky boots, I think of the musical Kinky Boots. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> um, Reeve, Harry, what are y'all doing? I don't know what I want to do. Reeve has a stealth cloak and sneaky boots. Yeah. And my, my, my two protégés have, have been trained in stealth. They, they take more they're, of a stealth. They're coming with us? Well, yeah. I thought they were staying to guard Kyle and Bile. Yeah, I thought they were still in the foothills. Are they staying? Oh, I thought they came back with me when I said, okay, I never specified. So I guess they'll stay in, they'll stay back in guard. That's fine. All right. I mean, I don't, I only want one, one paladin to have to worry about, not three. Trying to kill the vampire. Why are you worrying about me? I'm fine. <laughs> Well, out of this group, there's only one of us that really enjoys smiting. Cut it's... to a montage of all the times Reeve <laughs> has ruined plans. <laughs> hey, I've, I've saved us countless times. What are you talking about? The montage includes a... six times of him <laughs> saying, my brother, <laughs> my brother, my brother, which he actually only said once. <laughs> Uh, I'm pretty sure I've always said that. And then Harry also. saying it like 18 times. <laughs> it's just it a funny joke. Let's go to the mansion. I'm going to disguise right. self and I'm going to be Reeve. <laughs> what? You're going to play. <laughs> now you have two paladins to worry about. <laughs> All right. Well, um, Reeve. Second Reeve and Tatsu will all roll stealth <laughs> checks. No. Why are we being stealthy? Do I we, thought we, we were going to... We get advantage no, on stealth, if, right? if they can avoid being seen because there are posters everywhere. Oh, yeah. What's I'm, the sneaky I boots? Like me. I think it's advantage, right? Uh, one of them is plus advantage. one and the other is advantage. Yeah, you get plus one and advantage. Okay, well, that's a 14. All right. Does an 11? pretty poorly on that. Does 11 work? Probably not. <laughs> Is eleven an instrument? Seventeen. It's usually fifteen. So I think my fourteen. All right. Well, as you guys are walking um, down the streets, you're kind of like ducking behind an alley, and all of a sudden, one of the gray soldiers spots you and says, "Hey, aren't those those guys from the posters?" I'm gonna go up to that guard, mm -hmm. and I'm going to uh, cast. Um, sorry. 
I'm going to uh, cast friends mm -hmm. on this guard, which there's no save. It just happens. Uh, this is going to last up to a minute, and I'm going to try to persuade him, mm -hmm. which would be a charisma check. I'm going to say, um, this isn't, this is not him. He gets that all the time. It, it's really not. Look, I'm a halfling like you. Trust me. I would have turned him in a long time ago. What does he have to beat? Uh, it's not a save. Can I roll persuasion? Oh, yeah. I thought you were saying it's it was a charisma. Like, friends thing. just happens, and then I get advantage on charisma checks. Gotcha. So. <clears throat> I have plus 13, so. <laughs> oh, jeez. It's a 19 plus 13. <laughs> oh, yeah. Jesus Christ. So that's going to be a lot. 32? <laughs> it's a 32. 32. The soldier's kind of like, but there's... I know I've seen that guy it and that guy's face on a poster. And why are they the same? And Oh, what, no. <laughs> why are there two of that guy? And then I know I've seen that girl. <laughs> no? Who? No. Who? Who? You, you, you don't think I would have turned them in for money a long time ago. Look, times, it's, times are hard. I don't Trust even me, see a girl here. Uh, he's like, I, I guess. Come on, it was so. a 32. <laughs> uh, but you guys hear, he's kind of like really confused, but you hear other like footprints coming from around the corner. Go, 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 go. Get out of here. Go. I'll catch up. I'm going to dash. <clears throat> Please go. I, I, I can get out of it. I promise. I She's promise. a halfling. Yeah. Go, she just go, rolled go, a 32. Okay, well, <laughs> go, go, go. Runs we're going to go. We're gonna yeah, go. I run it away. The mansion. Reeve 2 is running. I'm running. So I'm I'm the only one left there. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and you see around the corner, there's a, uh, uh, like a soldier in like, a, he's got a lot of like, um, mm -hmm. what's the word I'm looking for? Like badges. Regalias, badges. Yeah. Uh, and then you see. Um, about five other soldiers with him without any badges and one of the soldiers is carrying uh, has like a, a beast on a leash uh, that looks almost like a like a really large like beetle mm -hmm. um, but it has its eyes covered up okay and uh, the one with all the badges is kind of like what's going on over here Listen, I, I got cornered by this this respectable guard who's trying to do his duty. Uh, and uh, I was just traveling with my friends and um, I just got stopped. What? I would love to help. Uh, he's, he's looking for these people on the posters and I haven't seen them personally, but I would love to help you all. It's just you. Well, my friends left because they were getting accosted by this guard. I was like, guys, just go. I mean, this is crazy. The sergeant guy turns to the other soldier that you befriended. He's like, you let their friends leave? What is... what is?" It wasn't them. Terribly sorry. Uh, uh, carry on. Uh, you're, you're coming with me. And he like takes the, the friendly one away, mm -hmm. and they all leave you. <laughs> that was easy. I was going to... Uh, I have Dimension Door. I was going to like just vanish. <laughs> nice. Um... <laughs> But yeah, I'm glad I didn't have to use it. So I'm going to go the opposite direction that my friends went in case I'm being watched. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to like kind of curve around, cut through some alleys and basically take the long way to the direction of the mansion. Yeah. Um, so that no one's I'm going to try to keep watch to see that no one's tracking me. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right. Um, so uh, everyone else walks uh harry you lead them all to the mansion uh mm. as you get closer it's like into the middle of the city it's a huge estate that kind of towers um above everything and you see everyone around has like much nicer clothes and the area that the rusty spike is in like lots of fine dress and and people being very prim and proper a lot like less guards here they're still they're stationed at certain areas, but there's not as many kind of patrolling around. Um, I recall it was a nicer part of town. Yeah. And uh, Bougie. 
yeah and so you uh and this this mansion has like it's huge like three story kind of on a hill with like a huge gate around it and there's a field behind it that looks like grape vines like a vineyard um and you come up to the gates and there is a guard there not one of the gray guards but kind of like a private guard uh and he like it's like you trying to enter the mansion is it daylight yeah okay <clears throat> yeah <clears throat> actually yeah. you know what have Let's i caught up have i caught it. up I yet or no i haven't even it is about noon yeah I you I caught up catch yet? up right then okay Whew, that was close hi guys <laughs> oh hey the guards who's this nice gentleman business. oh we would like to uh visit the owners of this place do you have an appointment with them no how do i get one i i'm just i'm a hired guard i don't i don't I just know people have appointments and some don't have appointments. Oh, this is a surprise visit. I don't know how much they'll like surprise. Let me do you uh would you like to stay here and I can I can I can inquire? That would be wonderful. Who should I tell them is coming? Harold. Oh, Harold. uh Harry. Harry? You're all Harry? Mm-hmm. All no, right. one of us is Harry. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> uh, and he kind of like walks away and uh, he goes into the house and he's there for, he were waiting outside for a good chunk of time. Um, you see a lot of rich people coming and going. Uh, you notice one of the guards in gray on the corner kind of like starts to eye you, but then he gets distracted with something like a something else happening. And, uh, ignores you and eventually the the guard at the gate comes out and he says the madam would like to see mr harry um i suppose you all can enter as well she just was very interested in the name harry yeah i'll switch back to normal form and uh it's like hey <laughs> oh i knew you'd remember me what is what is oh my gosh what happened to, what are you doing that's not <clears throat> natural, man. That's not. It happens. You you know how I go. All right. We, I don't. I don't on. know who you are. I, that was really disgusting. Well, okay. You know what? <laughs> I've known this family for a while. Okay, so let's just get over this. All right. Okay. I've never. That was gross. Jeez. Oh. God, pick yourself up. I'm gonna just stroll right past him. I'm not. Even, this guy's not even a person anymore to me. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna pat him on the shoulder and said. Chin up, we just made your day. <laughs> I'm going to follow Harry. <laughs> All right, so as you guys get to the mansion, huge double doors kind of open inward, um, almost as if by magic. And Ooh. you are, um, you see this elaborate foyer area and a um, very pale butler kind of approaches and he motions off to like a sitting room at the side. He says, if you would please, you may, the madam will meet you in the sitting room. And he kind of motions you all to walk in. All right. I will walk in after Harry. Yeah, I'll have a seat. There's got to be a chair somewhere, right? Oh, yeah. There's couches and chairs and everything is very immaculate and elaborate and i'm gonna pick the one with the biggest back to it you know like how they, like the, the yeah so, sometimes they're really tall he says please like, that is the madam's seat you can sit over here is there mm. a fireplace oh yeah tatsu jumps on top of the fireplace mantle and crouches like a gargoyle that wow. is so weird says, please the madam would like you to sit over here <laughs> no. that's so weird that is so weird <laughs> Wait, are you human doing this? Yes. Yeah, that's weird. She has every right to do what she wants. I'm going to sit on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to sit in the second nicest chair. 
um, <laughs> the the butler then you guys kind of notice that there's no like there's no windows on this sitting room um, there's another door except for the one from the foyer there's another one kind of like behind where all the chairs are um, and the butler leaves and, and kind of closes the door behind him um, the double doors to the foyer and you guys are kind of all just sitting there waiting for a few minutes <sighs> you notice a lot of um, very elaborate relics and like art and right above the mantle that Tatsuo is awkwardly perched on mm-hmm. there is an enormous painting with um, three incredibly beautiful women like a blonde or brunette and a redhead and um, they're kind of all just like very stoically staring at the like it's that thing where like the, if you move the eyes seem to follow you mm-hmm. um, and they're all it looks very very old like the paint is cracking and... can Tatsuo check behind it You mean like try and lift up the painting? Yeah, to make sure it's not like a trap door or something creepy or a tunnel. Yeah, it's bolted to the wall. Okay. And as you touch it, you hear a voice say, please don't touch that. It's very old. (laughs) (laughs) And from the door that was behind the seating area, um, you see one of the women from the painting, the brunette one. Yes. Well... They told me that Harry had returned. I didn't expect this many people here. And she she looks over at Harry and says, Welcome back. I hope you (coughs) plan on staying a little bit longer this time. Nope, not at all. Kind of upset I'm here anyway. Um, How's fam and the fam? (laughs) Oh, fam. Well, I'm sure as you know, he's a little bit volatile. Yeah, thirsty these days, yeah. He's uh, gone on a bit of a rampage. He left us a long time ago. He was always like that, just running off on his own. Yes, he's definitely, he was maybe a a mistake to turn, but maybe he will, he'll run it out of his system before long, and he'll return, I'm sure. We're I'm just sorry, where last. are my manners? Uh, oh, yeah. Please, uh, new <laughs> friends, my name is Julia. It is nice to meet you. I'm the lady of this house. Um, please, please get off of that. Please. <laughs> Why? Um, because there's a lot of very expensive relics and pieces of art up there, and I don't want you to... They took longer to curate than... You and your grandparents and your grandparents' grandparents have been around for. That's all. Get down. Please. Also, like, edges toward the edge. Biju thinks about what a nice three years it's been to be able to do diplomacy without things like this happening. (laughs) And then she does a flippy somersault off the mantle. I suppose that was impressive. Um, do any of the relics, are any of them made of stone or like stoneware? Um, yeah, there's some. Lots of like metals and jewelry and some ancient stoneware. Hmm. Kind of want to look at that stoneware. But we'll, we'll, well, we'll do it at a different time. My name is Bijou. <laughs> I'm so grateful to be invited into your home today. <laughs> you know, that is some nice stone over there. I agree. Well, I have. I, I didn't realize I had this ability for a really long time. And, and <laughs> oh. it, was, it was actually a, a way to I can investigate like stone artifacts. Yeah. Well, okay. look at these rocks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Is it an igneous Normally the rock? excitement for that should have worn off around level two, but you haven't used it ever, so here <laughs> we are. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> so I'm going to turn to her and I'm going to say, um, uh, so this is Reeve. He's from Softail. This is Tatsuo. 
from Easton. I'm Bijou from the Feywild. And you know Harry already. Uh, we were wondering how you thought things were going in the city lately. Well, Reeve, your friends are a lot smarter. Or sorry, not Reeve, Harry. Yeah, yeah. Your, your friends are a lot smarter this time than the ones you brought me last time. Tatsu is picking her nose. So at least some mm. of them. <laughs> well, my position in the city is... It's a fine one. As you can, as you probably have noticed, I would assume that you all are not from this part of town. Based on your dress, and she kind of stares up and down Tatsuo with a ugly look on her My face. My apologies for this one. But, uh, you know, rulers come and go. And as though, although things are, although there is more of a crackdown on my line of business as it were right now. I'm sure that will it will pass and things will swing towards my favor again. Well, I have great respect for your patience and um, well, your patience with the state of things. Um, but you understand uh, not everyone has as much time to wait out things like this. And we were wondering if we could find a way to make anything easier for you so that you would help us. She kind of, she um, goes over to a desk and, and pulls out, she says, and would anyone like a drink? And pulls out like some nope. really nice like crystal like glassware and, and bottles. Um. I'm going to say, no, thank you, but I do appreciate the offer very much. I'm going to look to Reeve. I'm going to nudge him, and I'm like, hey, that's some really good stuff. I scowl and raise my eyebrow. Zone of truth. She pulls out, uh, she pours a glass and, and hands it to Harry. Oh, I'm not thirsty. Really, darling, if we're going to keep seeing each other like this, I'm, I'm very impressed with the, the crop this time. Yeah, I figured you were. Yeah. So, um, what can I... The, like I said, the, the situation here, while there seems to be a bit of a crackdown on my less, less uh, public activities... There's not really anything that I'm too worried about, um, but I will entertain offers. It seems like you all are interested in some some negotiations. Yeah, so I will be perfectly transparent with you. Uh, we really need to find fam. And we have no idea where to even begin. Uh, we don't want any harm to come to fam. Um, <clears throat> but we just need to find him to take care of some things that would help us sort of get things back to the way that they were and um, as we do start to liberate cities and things like that uh, we will run out of room very quickly in our prisons and we were wondering if you would want us to bring you people that the world doesn't need anymore. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> yeah, Harry's not a fan of this anymore now that it's been laid out in front of him. <laughs> but he's going to, you know, going to let it go. Tatsuo, can I have a word <laughs> with you? I mean, sorry, Bijou, can I have a word with you? She does that thing where she touches all her fingertips together. Mm -hmm. No, no. Oh, no, guys. I'm going to start back and towards the door not not a lot just like a step or two just adjusting can i pull bijou to the side i i'd like to wait to see what she says she says well it's an intriguing offer i don't I, i'm always looking for food for my brood uh new members for the ranks if you would 
Mm-hmm. Uh, what I really want right now, though, is a new protege. And I know fam is not necessarily going to fill those shoes like I had originally hoped. Mm. Um, but I would be willing... Andrew, you're right right now. <laughs> ...to provide you with the information you desire if perhaps one of you, and she like stares straight at Bijou, is interested in joining the brood? We'll see. That is <laughs> so flattering. I can't begin to tell you how much of an honor that is to hear. See, we um, do know this great guy named Bile. Stop, stop. Tatsuo, please. Please don't. Um, here's the issue, is that I, I do love the sun. And I don't think I could go without it. She kind of nods and says, well, that's incredibly disappointing. I mean, you haven't really sold me on it. Well, I believe the lifestyle speaks for itself. And she kind of like gestures at like all the wealth in that like one room and like. Um, mm-hmm. And you would be joining a wonderful team with my sisters and mm. really <laughs> just running this town. Is that the only thing you want? What else is there besides power and comfort and a little bit of romance now and again? So you would rather have that than a more varied, a more varied source of food that keeps this lifestyle going for you. She kind of, she's like, all right, I, I understand that you're perhaps not the one who is going to take me up on my offer. I mean, could I have a few days to think about it? It is forever. Uh, Reed, yeah. What are you doing, man? I Go really want and- I want to talk to Bijou, but I have gotta wait apparently. So, mm-hmm. please wait. <laughs> Go ahead and make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Is this a charm thing? Yeah. Okay, I have advantage because I'm an elf. Oh, God. Oh, both a 16 plus 2. That's an 18. All right. You you see her just, like, eyes to eyes on you, like, get a little sparkle in her eye, and, but <laughs> it doesn't have any effect. Oh. Mm-hmm. I'm also within 10 feet of Reeve, yeah, aren't I? Yeah, you are. Or of protection. So then I can't I can't be charmed. Well, uh they have to make a saving throw. Huh? You 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 get a you get additional you get a bonus. You don't actually Oh, well, what would the bonus be? It would be my constitution modifier. Yeah, the creature like gains a bonus three. to the saving throw equal to your charisma modifier okay. with the minimum. So that would have been like a 21. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, please could I have just just one day to think about it? Sure. Uh while you are thinking, I will tell you the last that I heard and saw of Fam or the last word that I've had of him, uh he was making his way uh across the belt and seemed to be trying to find a way to Iron Glass. That's so kind of you to give that up. Give that information to us. Well, there's more where that came from if you give me what I want. (laughs) I will consider very carefully. That's what they all say. (laughs) 
I'm gonna be backing out the door. <laughs> um, I'm gonna bow graciously, and um, I'm gonna tell her no matter what I decide, I still owe you for that, and I'm not gonna forget. I hope you don't. Well, it was nice meeting you all. Um, before you very nice to meet you. Leave, please wait here, and allow me to retire, and then. My butler will escort you out. All right. Can I examine that stoneware now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. I want to go. I want to go look at one and just get out of curious curiosity because of how evil, how how undead sh- she was. Yeah. What are you hoping to find here? I don't know. I just wanted to use it because I haven't used it so. <laughs> Uh, I just want to I kind of want to know like I don't know N- you're mind. able to pinpoint the exact um, workshop that this vase was made from uh, in Soft Hill and you estimate that it is a, it's about uh, 1500 years old okay that's really old for this world it is Kind of want to take it, but I can't. You're a paladin. I know, What's wrong I can't. with you? I know, I, this is what I got in trouble with for the last time. I, I was like, uh, oh, right. Yeah. It's just like, I, uh, yeah, okay. Do I know any? Do I see anything else about it other than that? I'm out the door. Okay, I'm by, by, I'll put it down. I get, I'll leave. Tatsu is the only one left. She's going to get turned. Oh, she's already been crawling towards the door. Why? Well, not like, you know, like when you're edging out of a room sideways and you're kind of like hands are on the wall and you're creeping along towards the door. (laughs) You know, when you're just doing that on a Saturday afternoon. Why? (laughs) Because she doesn't trust it. (laughs) The the room? Nope. It's okay. Booby traps. It's an evil ass place. (laughs) Yeah. All right. It was the floor much. could open up beneath us, and then she'll be the one still holding onto the wall. That's, yeah, that's All right. <laughs> What's this butler doing? Is this butler taking us out the way we can? Yeah, he opens the door, and then he opens the front door, and he doesn't say anything. Tatsuo goes around. <laughs> around. around what? The wall. Around <laughs> the wall. She's oh. hugging the wall. Okay. Not a straight line. He says, Please Booby don't traps. touch the wall. It's very old. <laughs> I will have to clean all those fingerprints. <laughs> That's not very considerate of the working man. <laughs> there could be um, booby traps. I'm going to get way out there and say, you guys want to meet back at the Rusty Spike? Maybe we should split up? Or at least, I don't know. Take the back ways, I guess. Yeah, sure. Okay. I start walking. Yep. Same. Back to the rusty spike. Stealth. Doing the secret knock. Stealth thing. All right. Stealthily. We're going to end this episode here. We'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. 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 Shoulder. Cat. Radio. Ah! Dot com.